So we are still working on asking and answering questions um, after a text. Um, so asking those who, what, when, where, why, and how questions as you're reading and after you're reading, um, just to better understand the text overall. Um, so we're going to read Beaver Lodges, and then we will get into our asking and answering questions. Um, so let's read Beaver Lodges. Do you know the saying, busy as a beaver? People say this because beavers are always working. These crafty creatures spend a lot of time building their homes. Beavers' homes are called lodges. Lodges are found along streams, rivers, ponds, and lakes. Beavers build these homes from branches and rocks. They use mud to hold them together. When they can, beavers build their homes into the banks along the water. Other times, they need to make a safe spot first. To do this, they build a dam from logs, branches, and mud. They get the logs by gnawing at trees until they fall down. A dam is like a wall that blocks water from flowing. It then forms a pond. Once the dam is built, beavers can get to the business of building their lodge. Beavers' lodges are shaped like a dome. They are usually about 10 feet high and 20 feet across. Most lodges have at least one underwater opening. To get inside, the beavers must swim underwater. These secret openings keep out unwanted predators. Inside the beaver lodge are different rooms. There is an eating room and a nesting room. The floor of the lodge is built up out of the water. It is also made from rocks, branches, and mud. It is covered with plants and other soft materials. A family of beavers lives in a lodge. Two parents and two sets of their offspring often live together. So when you reread this, go ahead and think of two questions to ask about beaver lodges, and you can underline that. Um, in the text and underline the answers to those as well um, for that closed reader habits. So now we need to work on asking and answering questions um, after reading this to better understand um, beavers and beaver homes. Okay, So we are going to ask what, where, why, and how questions. And they have done one for you and they asked a what question. So what do beavers use to build their lodges? Well, if I look up in the text, it says, beavers build these homes from branches and rocks and they use mud to hold them together. So overall, my answer to this question is, um, beavers use branches, rocks, and mud to build their lodges. I answered my question, my what question. And now I need a key detail to support that. Okay, I need evidence from the text to support my answer in my question. So where does it talk about them using branches, rock, rocks, and mud? And if I just highlight that in the text, right here, word for word, I am going to put that into my graphic organizer as my evidence. And I'm going to use parentheses to show that it's not my own words. Okay, I got my evidence cited. Now I need to move on and ask another question. Now I have a what question. I can ask a where, why, and how question. And I'm going to ask, think of a question I can ask, which is what you guys will be doing for the last one. And I will do the second one for you. I'm going to ask a where question. Where do beavers build their lodges? That is my question I need to answer. So go ahead and answer that question. Where do they build their lodges? Find your answer in the text. And then you also need to cite your answer. What does it say in the text about them building, um, about where they build their lodges? Okay, and use those parentheses to show that that's not your own words that came from the text. Then you need to ask another question. You can ask a why or a how question. Okay, and then when we get to the bottom, you need to answer the question, Where? why are the Beaver Lodge openings underwater? Use key, de key details to respond. So remember, use that race strategy. Beaver Lodge openings are underwater because why? Okay, answer that and then give me evidence.